Chamber of Law, the Chief Justice, and the Associate Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States. Oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay. On Wednesday, September 21st, 2011, Troy Davis was executed by the state of Georgia. Uh, he maintained his innocence until the end, and many people believed that, in fact, he was innocent. Many of the witnesses who had testified against him recanted, um, and there were quite a few people who had requested uh, clemency on his behalf with the Georgia Clemency Board, which, which denied that request. Uh, the Supreme Court also was petitioned and asked to stay the execution at the very last minute. They did consider that, apparently. Uh, in fact, they asked the state of Georgia to wait uh, before executing Mr. Davis. But in the end, the stay was denied uh, without a noted dissent. So I wanted to just say a little bit about what the Supreme Court's role is in reviewing capital cases. This case came to the Supreme Court after a lot of other review uh, by the Supreme Court and other courts. The Supreme Court had actually intervened at least once before in this case. But at the point uh, on Wednesday when Mr. Davis's lawyers quite understandably asked the court to stay the execution, they did not in fact have any petition on file with the Supreme Court that they were asking the court to decide. They did not in fact have a legal issue in front of the Supreme Court that they wanted the Supreme Court to adjudicate. Under those circumstances, it would really be quite unheard of for the Supreme Court to grant a stay. Now, having said that, part of the reason that's so is that the Supreme Court and Congress have created an extremely elaborate system of laws that make it very, very difficult, and laws and precedent that make it very, very difficult for uh, a capital defendant to have their death penalty uh, sentence or their conviction reviewed meaningfully by the federal courts. Uh, that puts the Supreme Court in a position of being boxed in in a case like this where there are real and substantial doubts about the defendant's innocence um, or, the, or, or guilt. The, so the, but the Supreme Court is just institutionally not in a position to grant a stay because they don't think that this person should be executed. That's not uh, what they are able to do. That's not what they're empowered to do. Um, and that is, I believe, why we didn't see any dissents.